When it comes to political ads this midterm election, we've seen the nasty, the slimy, the, well, whatever you want to call it. But then we come across this. Take a look. Hi, so what do you do? I'm running for Congress. Oh, are you a Democrat or a Republican? No. What do you mean? Everyone's a Democrat or a Republican. Not me. What are you? I'm a libertarian. You're a librarian? No, I'm a libertarian. You're Joe Lieberman? Not Lieberman. I'm a libertarian. What's a libertarian? A libertarian believes in smaller government, fewer taxes, more freedom. Get out of Iraq. I like all those. Maybe you're a libertarian, too. I'm Phil Myman, and I approve this massage. <laughs> and joining me now, the candidate behind that ad, Phil Myman, Libertarian Congressional Candidate in Connecticut's 4th District. Uh, Phil, thanks for joining us. Oh, uh, you've argu you think, arguably you? gotten more attention than your two opponents just for this ad, Republican incumbent Christopher Shays and Democrat Diane Farrell, especially on the Internet. How did you come up with this idea? Well, you know, we were shooting an ad, and uh, I had a little cramp in my neck. So, no, But really, it's because uh, Democrats and Republicans, they bring stress to the people, and Libertarians are for you know freedom, smaller taxes, getting out of Iraq, good times. Other candidates look at polls. Are you looking at YouTube hits? I look at that. We look at polls, too. The polls that include my name tend to be the most representative ones, and they show us with solid support. And all we need in a three-way race is 35 percent. Um, I was going to ask a pun here. Is running for Congress back-breaking work, but that's just off. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, uh, I mean, have you gotten some attention from some unusual sources because of this? I mean, has your campaign changed at all because of this? No, it hasn't really changed. I mean, everyone knows. I mean, the, the problem is it's, it's, it's pointing out the foibles of the Democrats and Republicans, the fact that they're both big government. They want to have all these regulations like, oh, great, now we have people saying they approve their message, so there can't be any more negative campaigning. Well, it's just silly. Yeah, but, but Phil, I mean, negative ads work. I mean, we know that. I mean, you've run a great positive political ad, but negative ads work. You're just lucky they didn't turn one on you. Well, the, the problem isn't whether they work or not, but whether the government should be involved in telling us what we can say and what we can't. We have a First Amendment. It's supposed to tell us the government they can't tell us what we can say and what we can't. Libertarians often get a bad rub, part of the pun, but um, tell us what exactly are <laughs> campaign positions. Uh, my position on what, Iraq? Sure. Uh, I'm the only candidate who would have unconditionally opposed going into Iraq. I'm the only one who wants to get out now. I'm the only one with an exit strategy. I propose setting a deadline of July 4th, 2007, Independence Day, so that Americans no longer have to si suffer the irony of being taxed to support an invading force halfway around the world on our great day of independence. Setting the deadline would take the legs out from the insurgents in Iraq. It would be great for America's national security. And that's what a libertarian does. It's always a question of what's the best thing for America's national security interests, not what's best for the spectrum special interest of the Republicans or the special interest of the Democrats. They talk about benchmarks and timelines. They don't set times. If you ask them, is there a date after which we guaranteed we will not be in Iraq, their answer is no, not really. Phil, it pains me to say this, but we're out of time. Thanks for joining us. Thank Phil, you very Phil much. Phil Lyman, Libertarian candidate in Connecticut.